Hey everyone, Patrick here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your video conversion tracking. And before I do that, I'm actually gonna show you uh, what video conversion tracking is in Vitalytics and why it's so powerful and why you wanna set it up at all. So let's dive in and jump over to our stats page on one of our videos that already has some data going on for it. So the first thing is I'm gonna point out is that you can collapse these menus here on the left to expand this graph and get uh, more of your uh, screen real estate uh, working for you there. So this graph here is this blue line showing you the audience engagement of this video. And this blue line is basically how far people watch into this video before dropping off. And there's a few other video platforms that have some stats in them. And to be honest, this is all they give you. And this is a very useful graph, but by itself, it's really just kind of mildly interesting. It's not very actionable and it doesn't tell you really what to do here because it doesn't give you any context of why these people are dropping off. And specifically, uh, because you don't know if these people, like right here, where the slope of this line begins to get steeper, meaning that people are dropping off faster right here. Well, this is when we're dropping our buy button. And we don't know if they're going to buy or if they're going to bounce. So that's why conversion tracking is so powerful because you click this button right here once you have it set up and this green line that appeared on top of this graph is now the video conversion tracking. And each uptick in this green line right here is another conversion happening inside of this video. So it's actually showing you not just how well your video converted, but specifically what parts of your video drove that conversion, which basically turns this into a treasure map to find the pockets of profitability inside of your video. And nothing like this exists anywhere else in the marketplace. So this is very powerful stuff. So let's take a look at what's going on here. So right here, we have a few conversions at the very beginning of the video. And that's because returning visitors can see the buy button below the video immediately upon returning to the video. So some people are taking advantage of that and buying, but then everybody else is staying through here to really where we're dropping the, the buy button normally. And uh, we can see that the conversions at that point are really kind of taking off in mass. But what's very interesting here and that I want to point out is that over 25% of the conversions are happening in the last minute or so of the video. So this is a 24 minute long video and people, 25% of people that bought from this video watch to the very end of it before making that purchasing decision. So what does that tell me? Well, it means that they were on the fence, humming and hawing in indecision about whether or not to buy. And then the video ended and they were like, well, I guess there's nothing else left to do. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. And once we saw this data, this was a major uh, catalyst for us building the redirect feature that we have on our videos so that you can actually redirect the entire page to the next step in your funnel to nudge people along, to knock them off of the fence towards buying in the next step there. So that is really powerful right there, but it gets even better when you add the converted segment right here. So what this is gonna do is show you different groups of viewers that watch the video. Now, first off, this looks like a big spaghetti mess, so I'm gonna clean it up here. I'm gonna remove conversions here because we have it embedded in another way. And then also cart sales is just a different conversion script that we set up. So you can set up as many conversion uh, scripts as you want, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. But what that's gonna do is if you wanna track different uh, funnels, different sales, different upsells, things like that, any way that you can uh, have a separate page that people land on after taking a different conversion path, then you can track that separately and it will show up in your stats like this. This green line and this blue line is the audience engagement, how people engaged with this video that converted on two different conversion scripts. So it's basically through our e-commerce site and then through our paid traffic funnel. So anyways, I'm gonna remove that and just look at buyers versus non-buyers here. So this green line up here is people that converted and the purple line is the people that didn't convert. And you may think that with a 24 minute long video that people that didn't wind up buying from it that they're gonna bounce right away at the very beginning. And that is definitely true. The people that didn't buy bounced way earlier, way faster than the ones that did. Uh, which makes a lot of sense there, but not maybe as much as you would think, especially where you see that where the link drop is happening here about halfway through the video is that a lot of the people that wound up not buying 
30% of them made it to that point. So they were engaging with the story. They liked the benefits that were being presented to them and they were really engaging with this, right? So they were really kind of thinking that maybe this is something for them. But then when the product and the price and all that was revealed and uh, the link was dropped for them to take the next step and to uh, purchase the product, they actually started bouncing in mass. So what does that tell me? Maybe that there wasn't enough selling being done for those people before they got to this point. And I'm actually gonna remove the conversion script here so it's really clear what we're talking about. So right here, where the link was dropped, this is where people, this purple line here is the people that didn't buy from this video. So they watched it here and they're saying, ah, you know what? So this is for a supplement product in another one of my businesses. And they're saying, you know what? This product is not for me. I'm gonna bounce. So maybe, and the price wasn't even revealed yet, right? So we know that it wasn't a price issue for them. But maybe they were just like, oh, it's a supplement. You know, I thought this was gonna be something different. This isn't something that I want, etc." So this is really some information that you can take and can inform your own uh, video scripting and copywriting when you uh, put together marketing messages. But also look right here. So right here, we see that people are bouncing. And hold on, I'm on a different frame here. And this is where, this is my co-founder, Elizabeth Thompson, in this business, she, and she's a real person. Uh, I wouldn't do it any other way, uh, but she didn't wanna use her real photo here. So we decided to use a stock photo. And a significant number of people who didn't buy from this video bounced right at this point. So what that tells me is that they, you know, they're like, hey, that's a stock photo. This doesn't resonate with me, uh, I'm gonna bounce. So, you know, using a more authentic photo, maybe, you know, getting uh, the person who's gonna be the face of the brand uh, to use their own, you know, personal real photo, one like taken from Facebook that looks like a real human being would be a great move to put in here. And you know what, that type of editing in this video would take all but 30 seconds to do. And it could be a significant lift to the overall conversions on this video. So really interesting stuff. And you can geek out with this till the cows come home as far as you know how you can gain insights from this and really kind of see how these different groups of users are uh, engaging with your video and where they're bouncing. Uh, because really, if somebody buys from your video, you don't really care where they bounce, right? It's obviously a, uh, a great data point, something that you can use, but it's not nearly as valuable as drilling in on the people who didn't buy. Because if you wanna increase your conversions, then you need to focus on the people who didn't convert. And this line right here, this audience engagement for non-converters is really exactly uh, what that tells you exactly that information. So that is just uh, the tip of the iceberg with the conversion tracking and what it can do for you to really kind of understand how your videos are converting uh, so that you can really improve your conversions and also know that if you're gonna be on track to have a profitable video or not. So let's jump over to the conversion tab here, which is this one right here and set up our very first conversion script. Now, I obviously already have a bunch of them set up in my account, uh, but you in your account, if this is your first video conversion script, then you're gonna have none of these right here, and that's fine. So you're gonna come and click new conversion, and you're gonna wanna name it something. So it could be my first conversion, all right? And the default value is gonna be the value of a conversion to you. And if you have the same exact value for every single conversion, like maybe you only sell a product for $50 and nobody can buy any more or any less, there's no variations on that, you would just put in that value there. If you have different options, especially with upsells and things like that, uh, that really kind of make each cart value a different amount, then what you want to use here is called your average order value. And that is the average value of all transactions when somebody checks out from your funnel. So maybe that's $87, all right? Now, I am just, I'm not gonna show you how to do this next thing, but I do just wanna mention that if you have a tech team, you can even pass in a dynamic value to our conversion script from your shopping cart uh, when once somebody finishes the conversion. Now that's kind of some next level stuff. Uh, again, I'm not gonna show you how to do that right now, but I do just wanna mention it so that you know that it's an option in case you wanna take advantage of it. All right, and then count. You're either gonna count every single conversion or one conversion per viewer. If you're not sure which option to go with, go with one conversion per viewer. And the reason why is because if somebody checks out more than once, or even if they go back to your receipt page and reload a bunch of times, then that is only gonna be counted as one conversion. Uh, but 
that can be great if if that's really kind of the the nature of your business. Now, some people have, you know, businesses where somebody is converting all the time, they're buying multiple times, they're coming back and converting, and you want to count each one of those conversions because it's very commonplace for you to get multiple conversions from each user. Now, say you're using lead gen, right? You're using this for lead gen in part of your funnel. That's absolutely fine. You'd want to track those as conversions and you would want to track one conversion per viewer because somebody can really only become a lead once. Uh, you know, maybe they're using a different email address or they're doing some trickery like that, but you don't want to pollute your data. You want it to be nice and clean and accurate. So one conversion per viewer should be the default. Now the conversion window, this is how long after they watch your video, do you want to count a conversion towards that video? So let's say that they watch your video and then they convert six months from now. Well, they probably don't even remember that they watched that video or what it was about and it probably didn't influence their decision to convert all that much. So in that scenario, you wouldn't wanna count that as a conversion and that's why we have a conversion window at all right here. So 30 days can be standard, 90 days can also be good. It's really up to you and really, if you're not sure what to put here, just think about you know, how long after they watch this video, do I think that they're gonna remember it and come back and still wanna convert? So anyone, anywhere between uh, 30 and 90 days is gonna be safe territory, really up to you. Uh, a week or a year is gonna be kind of more aggressive on the, on the two ends of that. But at any rate, once you make your decision, you click save, and now it just created this conversion. And we can see that it even says created a few seconds ago. And if you ever need to sort your conversions, you can, uh, you can use these toggles up here uh, to track them down. And you can also search for them like this if you ever need help finding them. Now, if you wanna go back and edit them, you can just click like uh, this button right here and it goes back to that dialog box that we were just in. And then otherwise, you're gonna grab your uh, code right here. And this is just like the embed code for placing your video on your website. And what you're gonna do is click copy and you're gonna go and place this on your receipt page, your thank you page, whatever page somebody sees immediately after converting. So after they enter their credit card information, after they enter their email address and become a lead, after they enter their phone number or book out appointment, that's up to you, whatever is unique to your business, but it's that page that they see immediately after they converted. So if you have a funnel, where they enter their credit card details and then they get hit with a few upsells before they actually hit the receipt page, you're gonna to wanna to put this on your very first upsell page because sometimes people are gonna bail on those upsells but it's still gonna be a conversion that transaction can still go through. So you're gonna to wanna to put it right there. So you just copy this to your clipboard and you're gonna place it onto that page and then you're gonna be able to start having this type of data on your video stats so that you can understand where people are converting, why are they converting, and what you can do to increase your sales and your profitability. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Reach out, of course, as always, if you have any questions and otherwise, happy selling.